Hey, this is Steve Bloom, and you are listening to the GeekCast Radio Network. Yeah. will become a weekend update tradition. Every Thanksgiving from now on, a different SNL performer will compose and sing an original song to commemorate the holiday. We couldn't think of a better person to begin this tradition than our own Adam Sandler. Oh, thank you. You're tuned in to Steve Megatron on Altered Geek Unlimited. Hello and welcome to Altered Geek Unlimited episode 166. I'm your host Steve Megatron Phillips and joining me this week is TFG1 Mike. Oh. Hello. Yeah, don't sound so enthused. <laughs> <laughs> and and my wife, Mary. Hello. Yay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, 166. Uh-huh. Uh, the force is not with this podcast, folks. It's Order 66. Mary doesn't know the reference. <laughs> yeah, no, I know she doesn't. She was giving me this look like, I don't know what you're talking about with your nerd speak. (laughs) So it is Thanksgiving, or it will be Thanksgiving by the time people hear this. Or people might be out shopping at the time that they hear this, who knows. Um, And this is Mary's first uh, Altered Geek episode. Yep. Out of boredom. (laughs) Gee, thanks. Great. No, no, uh, yeah, no love for this. She's just like, hey, yeah. I'm not tired. Um, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> well, I just did, um, 
it's actually going to be coming out on, on Thanksgiving. Uh, my fiance Jen and I and uh, my buddy Doug Abel and his wife Alicia and our other friend Chris Morton, we did a What Are We Thankful For podcast uh, where it won't be on anywhere on the GCRN, folks. It's uh, Jen did it for her YouTube channel. Um, but, of course, I have to do all the work. I have to do all the audio editing, all the video editing, everything else. But, anyway. Uh, That's what I did for Fit Ready Go. Let's not go there, please. Last thing I need <laughs> is my fiancé and your wife teaming up on the two of us. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then it just said <laughs> So. <laughs> we renewed it for the recipes. Yeah, whatever happened to that challenge? That's what I want to know. Which challenge? I don't. I don't even remember which twice. you guys left off on. Well, we eat a lot of vegan now. We actually, I mean, we're not completely vegetarian, but we probably only eat meat once or twice a week tops. Sometimes, like last week, we were like, "Uh, when's the last time we ate meat?" Steve's like, "I don't know." So, I mean, that just kind of turned into more like lifestyle. So. Right. Yeah. So does that mean it's going to be tofu turkey this year? No, we no. still eat turkey. Well, we because like turkey. we're going to the parents' house, so they eat. They or I mean, they they cook. So why am I going to cook? Because like I said, we still will eat meat, um, right. most meats, but uh, but just just mainly because of the hormones and stuff, we have chosen not to eat as much because you get too many hormones and all that added gunk that they add to the meat now mm. so yeah yeah, yeah I, I you know i remember as a kid it really didn't like of course as kids we don't really pay attention to stuff but you know uh, additives and preservatives and extra thing like food was food you know mm-hmm. <laughs> your parents sat down a plate of chicken mashed potatoes corn and whatever and you ate it you didn't sit here and ask oh is this going to make me fat later in life or is this gonna you know yeah we we didn't really worry about that 30 years ago and now you know i would say in the last five years more than ever we're worrying about every single thing which is good it's it's being conscious to your body and everything else but at the same time it's like you go in and you want to buy something that you uh oh you know going and want to you know buy something that you want to eat that you know you've always loved and come to find out hey it's got this this and this oh i can't eat that now yeah and i get that and that's why we're in the middle because um i do believe with vegetarians or vegans not all of them because i we have quite a few friends that are vegan that eat very healthy but there can be a time that there's a shortage for them with iron Or they may get too much soy. So that's why I'm like, I don't want to go all the way vegetarian. Mm. But I don't want to eat as much meat. Because it also used to be, see, they didn't used to need as much chicken as what they do now. But because of fast foods and because of how much waste and stuff really we do anymore. They need a chicken that's born today to be ready to be cooked tomorrow. So they're going to put everything, all the all the crap in it to make it so that it can be cooked right away. And just like feeding cows corn when their digestive systems are not they they don't digest corn. They're supposed to eat grass, but it doesn't make them fat enough. So they give them corn and that's actually what causes the E. coli. And that's why there's so many E. coli outbreaks and stuff. Mad cow. Yeah. Moo. That's actually what caused all of it because they're not feeding them the right things that their bodies can digest. So, yeah, I'm all for it. If I had a farm and I wanted to kill my own animals and everything, (laughs) I mean, then that's fine. But that's not me and that's not what I'm going to do. Then I think that's completely healthy. But it's just everything's gotten such a big demand. It's just like when you go out to a restaurant and you have to have, you know, a table size plate or, you know. Gargantuan steak. Yeah. The uh, the last challenge, since you asked which one, it was the Lent challenge. You left us hanging on the cliff. <laughs> Lent challenge. I don't even remember opening. It was in Lent January. Challenge. It was in February of. Oh, this it was. Year. Well, yeah. Lent would be. Oh yeah. I don't even know what it was. It was the for. second round. That's yeah. funny. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, that's all right. Um, I think you were the only one listening to it. That's <laughs> really what brought brought it to. I'm like, why am I doing this for nobody to listen to? <laughs> but you know, we promoted the heck out of it. So I mean, I, I don't know. You, you, I mean, I've known several people that try to, you know build their own website just based around healthy living. My buddy, uh, Dustin, uh, Dustin Vancor, he used to do uh, one up your and, uh, He's actually bringing it back. Is it really? Okay, yeah. good. Um, you know, he used to do that and it used to be all this, you know, friendly food stuff and whatever and healthy living and all that. And, and it just kind of faded away for a while. And I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, Thanksgiving, you know, it's always, for me, it's always been, you know, like I said, turkey, mashed potatoes, corn, stuffing, that kind of stuff. And obviously the family gathering and watching football and, and all that. And in our house, we usually ended up by the end of the night uh, playing cards half the time. Oh, I guess we did have a, that just reminded me of a... Um... Thanksgiving tradition because on Thanksgiving for us it was of course same thing turkey stuffing and everything but we always went to a movie on Thanksgiving night and my parents still do like they still plan on going tomorrow night to a movie Hmm. so what about you Steve um our tradition was go eat turkey and a lot of food and uh watch a uh, general family argument go on and uh, I was I it's going it's almost a yearly tradition to uh, uh, watch somebody whether it be my mom and my grandparents um, and my uncle uh, usually get in a uh, family discussion that becomes a uh, uh, heated conversation and uh, it's not like violent or anything but there's a lot of like um, Yelling. Sarcastic quips yeah. that get thrown around, uh, and usually they can be shut down if my brothers or I speak up and say something equally uh, sarcastic, and then they don't know where to go from there. But they'll usually pick it right back up after we get away from the table, so it's not really anything different in a year. Um, <laughs> you do there's... know it comes towards us this year. Yeah, it'll be it'll be us this year because mm-hmm. of the uh, Wait, recent... Well, ever since I've been in the family, it's been towards me anyways. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so yeah, we, we'll, uh, be visiting three houses, uh, tomorrow. Starting at 1130. Yep. It reminds me of the, uh, season three episode of Dharma and Greg, Thanksgiving until it hurts. <sighs> oh, I can't even look at this turkey. Uh, try looking at the candy jams. Oh, sweet. Soap on a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Dharma, did I ever thank you for breakfast? Fight me, fatso. They, uh, in, in the episode, they, um, it starts off with Dharma and Greg and, 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 and their respective families. And uh, Greg, Greg's mom is on top of the table, basically banging Dharma's dad's head against the table and everything else. And it goes past, you know, the opening credits and everything else. And, and, and Greg's like, so what do you want to do for Thanksgiving this year, honey? <laughs> and they decide to basically not have Thanksgiving with either one of their families, which then ends up having them to do Thanksgiving at everyone's house individually. (laughs) So kind of like four Christmases. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's kind of funny because, well, this is the first year Steve's dad has invited us over for Thanksgiving. So we decided to go to his dad's. Um, But we actually, the past two years, because we have the kids and stuff now, it's, it is a lot harder trying to go house to house. All of our family are within like half hour, so it's not like they're all over the place. But, um, but we had been saying that we were going to start, you know, doing one house. But I haven't been able to come to it because my dad is very, very sick, and I never know if it's his last Thanksgiving. He's been sick the past few years, but it just keeps getting worse and worse. And then on top of us with us moving and this being our last the last holidays here we decided that we should go to all of the parents houses yep so 
Hey, look at it this way. Next year, you can just have internet Thanksgiving over Skype video. I know next year I have to cook and I'm really sad because I'm, I'm like, what do I cook for four people? Like, or I guess a lot of leftovers. I don't know. Hey, we could boil a turkey. Right. I have my electric skillet. I'm good. We could, we could put it in a, we could put it in a, a, a deep fryer out in the backyard. And oh no. Yeah. I do just... the William Shatner thing where it goes boom. <laughs> yeah. I just saw the, uh, I don't want. You did I've, that last year. Yeah, I've been watching this show here and there, but I've kind of resisted it for a while. But I've been watching the Goldbergs and one of the more recent episodes because it is, you know, right around Thanksgiving. They did a Thanksgiving episode where it was um, uh, his mother and uh, his brother's girlfriend's father that decide to have a turkey off and she's going to do traditional turkey cook and whatever else and he's going to deep fried out in the backyard the whole thing exploded <laughs> every time i've seen that it explodes <laughs> yeah pretty well frozen much. bird <laughs> yep <laughs> reminds me of the commercial i loved this commercial back when i used to actually watch tv um it, no to preface it, was, it it was it was like what 10 years ago and it was during a, a, <laughs> it i think so i've told mike funny. this story but this wife is going she's trying to pick up a turkey I don't even remember why, what this commercial was for. It was know. Butterball Turkey commercial was during it? the Super okay. Bowl. Anyway, she's trying to pick up this turkey, and she drops it on the floor after she gets it off the island, and then she picks it up again, and she tries to heave it into the sink, and it goes out the window and hits her husband, which is watering the um, No, plant. mowing the lawn. I think he was he was watering the plants. Mm. Yeah, but anyways, he's like watering the yard or something, and it hits him in the head and knocks him out. <laughs> I thought that, was, that one was funny, and I watched it a lot. Yep, so she kept looking that one up and watching it over and over. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the only, until I actually see them, the only holiday commercials, whether they're Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, the only one I remember is that stupid guy Peter coming home in the, in the Folgers ad. And it was always at Christmas that they would show this, because he's coming home for Christmas, and it's, it's the old classic Folgers coffee, you know, mm -hmm. the best part of waking up is Folgers mm -hmm. in your, you know, it's, it, it's that thing. It's the only one I've always remembered and everything else until I actually see the ads. I'm like, I don't remember any of these things. <laughs> Seriously, <I'm gonna> <laughs> I, this ain't no. the first time I've done something like this. Um, oh, you know how Michael Wilson and I usually find a video clip and then we, Oh no. Yeah, so yeah. I found I found this commercial, which I'll put in the show notes. I want to see if he's watering the grass. <laughs> yeah, this lady's heaving the turkey out the window. <laughs> Told you he's yep. watering the grass. He was watering the gr grass. This is tired of wasting turkey. Try Jenny O oven fresh or, or oven ready. <laughs> so it wasn't butterball turkey. <sighs> that's that's funny. Um, but yeah, no, this year I'm. Uh, you know, I'm here by myself. I'm going out to California for Christmas to spend it with Jen and her family. But uh, the cool thing about where I live, since I've lived in this apartment for a little over a year, I was here last Thanksgiving for the first Thanksgiving here that I've had. And they have on Thanksgiving Day, uh, for as long as people will tell me that they've done this, they have one of the local churches come in for any of the residents that are still here that don't have family or aren't going anywhere or whatever else. They basically bring 101 meals because there's 100 apartments in, in the complex and basically just pass out the meals to everybody that's here. Oh, wow. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow or today or whenever you find people are listening to this for Thanksgiving. <laughs> today, tomorrow, yesterday, whenever. Um, hmm. That's nice. Yeah, that's actually um, one thing I wanted to bring up to Steve is I think it would be awesome to make up um thanksgiving meals uh mm -hmm. 
make up a turkey and just stuffing and whatever. And then put them in the styrofoam containers, like the to-go the to go kind of containers right, that you get right. at a restaurant. And then just go around to the homeless and give them to them. Because yeah. we, uh, we're actually doing a <laughs> breakfast for an organization that's around here that we really... Um, We've done a dinner for them, and we're doing a dinner next Friday for them. And then on Christmas morning, we decided to do a um, breakfast for them. And basically, it's families that are homeless. So they have kids, I mean, like our kids' ages. And mm -hmm. they go to a different church each week, week and sleep. And then on Sunday, they have to go to a new church and sleep. And so we're doing a um, Christmas morning breakfast for them and... I kind of want to, even though we're moving, we'll have to find a different organization. I'd like to make that kind of a new tradition for us there, but. That'll be cool. That'll be good. And uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think what other Thanksgiving things. Uh, for me, watching stuff, it's, there's pretty much two mainstays. Outside of the Dartmouth and Greg episode I mentioned, it's uh, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and the ultimate live-action Thanksgiving movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I knew that was coming up. We <laughs> covered that last year, I think. I don't yep. Know I've ever seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. You've seen. Oh, it's got it's got um, Steve uh, Martin, John uh, Candy. You mean you've turned it on? John while Candy I went to and sleep? Steve Martin. No, I, think, <laughs> I think your dad had it on last yeah, year. Yeah, my dad's probably had it on, and I've gone to sleep. No, he has it on like every year when we're over there. And I never pay attention to the TV. And I watch there. it every year. And this is a typical conversation between the two of us. <laughs> Next so question. Next question. <laughs> She's like, deleted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, well, I mean, the movie itself is, it, it's a decent movie, but it's basically the story of the two of them trying to get, you know, Steve Martin and John Candy. Steve Martin's trying to get home for Thanksgiving from New York to Chicago. So, And it's a standard John Hughes movie, so, of course, he's always trying to either get to or be around Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think what else here. Yeah, the gist of the, the movie, though, is that John Candy's a constant thorn in Steve Martin's side, and he mm -hmm. can't... I mean, I know I've seen he causes him to get when my dad has it planned. Yeah, but... he causes him to not be able to, like, you know, rent a car and <laughs> fly. Uh... You're messing with the wrong guy. That's all I can think of is that, 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 that scene when, when he has to walk through the airport parking lot when the bus drops him off. Anyway, um, what the hell? Oh, the one thing this year that kind of made me upset was we went from Halloween to Christmas. Like, everybody, and until, like, two days ago, everybody forgot about Thanksgiving. Like, nobody gave a crap about Thanksgiving because... See, but I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff on Christmas. I mean, of course, the stores are selling stuff, but that's because... Th that's every year. Like, yeah. Thanksgiving. Like, it's, but I haven't really been hearing the Christmas music. I haven't really been seeing any. It's almost, I don't know if it, it's because our heat wave up here, but it's just like nobody realized it was Thanksgiving until Monday here <laughs> because it's been like 75 degrees and we're like, oh, it's still summer. We're good. And then all of a sudden it started snowing and we're like, oh, hold on a second. Well, it's like, it's like the day after I quit my job, the temperature nosedived. Yeah. That's because they didn't want you to leave because that place is not going to survive without you. Yeah, but making but it snowing only gives us a bigger reason to move down south. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. <laughs> no snow, we will go. Oh, no. <laughs> um, no, here in Louisville, they they have a, there's a local radio station and. Steve knows this. I, I watch all my stuff on my computer. I don't actually have an actual television anymore because I was like, why am I just letting this thing collect dust? Because there's no cable outlet in my bedroom, and because this is a HUD-approved building, they won't let you run wires unless you staple it across the ceiling. And I'm like, I'm not dancing on the ceiling just to have cable television. I'm just not. I can find everything I need online on my computer. So... I started using my clock radio again last year and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm looking around, looking around and there's a couple of stations I know about here in town. And I started listening to one. It's basically, it's a soft pop rock kind of station thing. They play kind of today's stuff, yesterday's stuff, that kind of thing. 
And but they're this town's uh, first original Christmas music station. Last year they started Christmas music November first, the day after Halloween, and I'm just like a uh, new. No. This year they made a joke of it all, and my buddy Jesse, who is the morning show host on the radio station, um, he they, they had this joke about that. There's the state that you know they 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 show you through the hallways of part of the station, and they show you into like the engineers' room where all the wires and flips and switches are and everything else and they have this giant red and green christmas which he's like yep i'm gonna pull the switch i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and then a giant uh two of the interns uh dressed up one is a turkey and one is an elf and they're like nope you're not gonna i'll 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 have steve put the video in, in the show notes it was it was just hilarious but they they switched to christmas music way too fast like for me it's like it needs to be after at least after Thanksgiving, if you want to switch to Christmas music on like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, fine, I don't care. But any Christmas stuff before Thanksgiving on the radio or TV, it's just it's just inherently evil to me. See, it's so funny because that's what everybody used to say when I used to work um, at the bank and stuff. But I didn't mind it because we have all year long that you're re- listening to regular music. So it's like a month and a half of listening to Christmas music. But nobody has a problem listening to regular mu- music for like ten and a half months out of the year. But as soon as that Christmas music on is on, everybody complains. It doesn't matter if it's December 1st, people complain about it. For me this year, I, I you know, I like I just said, as soon as Friday this week hits or as soon as Monday next week hits... <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be all ready for, you know, but it's like, there's just a certain natural order to things. And it's Halloween, Thanksgiving, then Christmas, not mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So do we really need Black Friday anymore, folks? I mean, seriously, because... I see all the advertisements. I hear all the advertisements on the radio about all the stores doing all the Black Friday stuff. But you can buy half these deals. You can get half these deals online already. You know, I don't see the point. Like Black Friday when I was a kid, it was, yeah, you needed it because there was no internet. But it was just one of those things where it's like you're going to spend all day with your family on Thanksgiving you're going to eat, you're going to have fun, you're going to watch football, you're going to take a nap from eating so much and whatever else, and then you're going to wake up at midnight or 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. just to crush people to get to a deal that the products aren't even really that great. No, I honestly, I don't think we ever needed Black Friday to camp outside for two days for a little deal well we used to see people camped out on like a tuesday night or wednesday morning oh i'll guarantee you when we pass best buy tomorrow on the way to my parents there will be people out there i have no idea what for but there will be there's there's never i've never seen a thanksgiving where there weren't tents out on the way to my parents and and it's ridiculous because like I, i know back in the day like they used to have some pretty decent deals on stuff but like nowadays everything's so cheap like at least with technology it's so cheaply made and so cheap to get that there's really no point in wasting your time for like a 50 dollar deal yeah um and and also for the most part like I think the last big Black Friday we did was when we bought the Xbox. Yeah, we, we waited, waited like two hours. Yeah, we waited like two hours in a Walmart, yeah. and we were like number 32 in line, got the Xbox, mm-hmm. and then went home, and then that was it. Like, we didn't really... It, that was the last time we did it, and that was probably like four years ago. Yeah. And and before that, we used to go to like Myers and, and stuff like that, and we used to... Um, because there was a site, you know, blackfriday.com or .info or something like that. And we would get the list of all the different sites of what they had at these different stores, and we'd build our list, you know. And we used to jump store to store to store, you know, sometimes we'd go out. Oh, and... we went to Meyer and Walmart. We there was, like, one time we went to, like, JCPenney, and we went to something else. But it was, like, very brief. You went for, like, one item, and that was it. Probably for the free globe or something. Um, yeah, I mean, if there was something free, we went to that too. But uh, we did. We, we were never. Don't let them fool you. We were never big Black Friday. No, shoppers. I mean, we pretty much went to like Meyer and uh, Walmart, and that was pretty much about it. Well, and... that was when they started their sales at six. One, I don't agree with the opening on Thanksgiving. Let no. families be with their families. 
Mm-hmm. So this whole six o'clock on Thanksgiving, like all the stores do now, I don't agree with. But um, no, we would go to Meyer and we would get, say, pajamas or whatever. We'd put them in the cart and everything. Everything would be in our cart and we'd be ready to check out at six o'clock. But then they put an end to that when they put everything <laughs> in the middle of the store and said, do not touch. It's like, well, it's and, almost, and we always thought it up. was stupid because it's like, it's almost like they want people jumping on each other. Like, why not let people just load their carts, load and then... their carts and then just not check out until six o'clock. I mean, they're saying it's not fair because people that don't get there till six, but otherwise you just have people jumping on each other. So yeah, I mean, if you can't get there or, you know, you don't get there before the other people and you miss out, that's your fault actually. Cause like, you know, it, and I mean, if it's something you have to have bad enough, like one year we went to Meyer, they, they put, um, there were certain items that you could put in your cart. And then there were a lot of the bigger items that they had them, uh, in the center aisle caps, mm-hmm. uh, where they had them, the, the pallets were saran wrapped. Um, and they would not take the covers off of them until it was like literally about 10, 15 minutes beforehand. Which the and, big items I get. Which, but like, we, we got, got in some... trouble for pajamas one year. I remember Walmart Th- telling us retarded. we had to put the pajamas and back. And you were I... like, well, see ya. Well, no, I said, well, what if I want to buy these right now at full price? And she told me I couldn't. I was That's... like, I want to pay full price for them right now. And she wouldn't let me. Yeah, yeah I, I want, want to give your store money and you're not letting me. That's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. But the bigger well, items, I guess. Well, get. like one year, um, they had the entire furniture aisle cl- uh, section cleared out of this Meyer store. And uh, um, Mary had already gotten in line and we'd already gotten everything else because they were letting us get everything else other than this one area. And they had it roped off. Like you could not get in it. This and the vacuum. And yes, yeah, so this is the year we got the vacuum, which we still have. <laughs> Um, the uh, we were crazy shoppers. Yeah, we were vacuums, we yeah. were very we were very strategic because we started out the night at like about midnight. We went there and we it might have even been like ten at night. And we went and we grabbed DVDs and we grabbed <laughs> some like stuff that was smaller that they didn't have blockaded. Uh, and we, we put them in drawers. We put them in the drawers of the uh, <laughs> the desks that were on the shelves in the furniture aisle. And then came back the next and then, morning. Yeah, and then the next morning we came back and we loaded all of that into our cart. Um, so and we that's why ha- they started doing what they do. That now. is, that is too. I think word got out that we were doing that. Um, oh, whatever it wasn't just. But that. Uh, but um, I, well, because I used to work at Meyer, I used to know that people would throw crap in the drawers and nobody ever looks at them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought that's a genius place to put this stuff. So that's what we did. Um, and when we went to get the vacuum that day, like we had everything else in the cart, we had, you know, she was ready to go. She was at the checkout, uh, waiting in line. I was waiting on this vacuum and everybody was waiting on the kids toys and waiting on like a bunch of the other stuff. And the vacuums were like within my reach <laughs> over the, the rope. Right. And they opened up the gauntlet in the front and everybody swarmed in. I reached over, grabbed the, the vacuum and I bolted to the front of the store and threw it in the cart. Um, so it was, it was an experience, but I think that was the last like serious black Friday we did. Um, because all of them after that was just, we were going for a couple items and that was pretty much well, it. It was always a couple because those were DVDs. And DVDs, then... sleeping bags, um, yeah, and then vacuum. I mean, we never went for TVs and yeah, because we pretty that. much figured you weren't going to get those if you went in. Um, yeah, and and so like the only year we went for like big electronics was the the year we got um, the Xbox, and that was because they had like yeah. three hundred of them in the store. And you just had to wait in line, and then they would just give them to you at that certain time. We didn't have kids. And it's it was like 10. We could sit there. Yeah, I mean, I went there at like, this was like quarter after 8, and I sat there until like 10, 10.30, and then they let us check out. And I just, I luckily had my MP3 player, which I had loaded some like Batman movies on, and I was just watching them while I was in the aisle. Um, because this was before I had a smartphone. You were, yeah. I was there too. You left at some point though. Oh. I don't remember what you went to go do, but I think you had to let the dog out. Or something. I but know. anyways, I stayed up there and then you came to pick me back up because you were mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to stand here and wait in line for like, you're like, you're like, you're good, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I got. I don't I, remember leaving. I remember yeah. saying how many, how many pieces of paper that guy had in his hand and you were like, oh, you knew. <laughs> that was funny. I worked at the bank for so long that I could tell like how many pieces of paper to like the number. Oh, that she he was had a pro. Hand, and he was like, 
no way. Because yep. I went up to the guy and I asked him how many, and he said exactly the number I had. I said, they, they're as thick as a dollar bill. I said, I know how many, as if it was $100 bills. But anyways. Yeah, so so I got an Xbox um, mm-hmm. with Arkham City. Uh so yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily see the reason to keep with um, Black Friday. I mean, I think they learned their lesson this year when they kept opening like almost like the day before Thanksgiving, like just staying open twenty four hours and not even closing. Yeah. Uh, because it kind of bit a them lot last of them year. Are doing the six o'clock? Yeah, a lot of them are doing the six o'clock this year instead of the all day Thanksgiving because I think that their sales weren't what they projected that they would mm-hmm. be. Well, a lot of stores, I've read several articles in the last, I'd say since about Halloween or just before Halloween, a lot of stores are going to be closed on, like, uh, JCPenney and Cole. I don't know, there's so many Kohl's stores. Kohl's, I, I know s- for sure, is opening at 6. Okay, because well. Because they had a flyer or whatever. They yeah, saw. I'm, I'm just saying, I remember seeing a list of stores saying they were going to be completely closed on Thanksgiving. Which I and, think, honestly, why cannot our I don't know. I don't understand why society can't. I mean, it's one day a year. Honestly, well, a couple the, days a year. If the know? government's closed that day, yeah, and it's and it's one of those like paid holidays for your your mail person, you shouldn't work. Exactly. That's how it should be. Yeah. Exactly. Because because it's screwing people out of time with their families, and like honestly, if they did it that way, yeah. they wouldn't have to pay people or the lights to be on like every day. Maybe uh, when they can they... actually afford to pay people ought to be full time. Yeah, true. Maybe when the uh, annoying orange gets in office, he can uh, ratify that. Donald Trump. <laughs> we call him the annoying orange. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, the and for for me at this point, it's like I'd rather just order it all online. What like. And Steve knows this. I've talked about this. I don't drive because of my physical disability. And it's, you know, hell trying to get to and from a grocery store on a bus. Or, I mean, Mm -hmm. taxi's fine, but taxis eat into the grocery money. Um, You know, so it's one of those things where I use schwans.com all the time. I've been using them for six, six and a half years now. And they basically have standard food that any grocery store would have they they only have juices they don't have milk or any of that kind of stuff but they have like you know frozen chicken strips they have um ham they have roast they, they have all they have mashed potatoes they have all this you know traditional stuff you could get at a grocery store and i i just rather just sit here and order it all and just whatever i need and just have it delivered that's that's I, I've gotten so lazy in my old age, but that's just a, it's the truth because anytime you go shopping, it doesn't matter if it's the holidays or not, you're gonna run depending on the time of the day uh, of the day that you go, you're gonna run into a, you know a million different people, and then some people will just stand there and and oh hey Joe how you doing yeah how's that and I'm like get out of my way so I can get the cranberry sauce damn it. Wow, you know it's person. like i'm i and yet my myself it's just funny you're saying that because myself what um we do well i do with uh our oldest now is we actually make things out of either cans that i've used so if i make chili or something i use the tomato sauce cans or old or toilet paper rolls that are used up and stuff we make things like this month that we made turkeys out of them and we put glow tracks, which is a religious, like, it gives some information on the Bible or whatever. And then, like, a hot chocolate or something. And basically, we just go around and actually give them to people. So we are searching people out while you're saying that you're... Like, but no, I mean, I just think in this society that we need to be doing things to try to make, I don't know... We Others, do, but like, the problem yeah. is not everyone feels that way. And and I'm just one of those people where... I'll make sure I never give you one in public. <laughs> You'll be... Bo- no, no, it, no. I don't it, want this thing. It, it's, no, it's not even that. It's just that, you know, I go into... Specifically grocery shopping. I go into the grocery store. I go in. I get what the heck I want, and I get out. I don't sit there and worry about oh what size of can of peas is this or how much does i I worry about the prices but i don't like you know 
You know what I mean? It's like I just go in, get what I want, and get out. It's like that's a dude thing, though. I don't spend seven hours in the grocery store comparing. Oh, Mary doesn't either. She's a pro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I have two kids and still can get out she's... with good deals. I mean, yeah, yeah oh, she's thank like, goodness, I know how to get get deals. Yeah, she can't send me to the store. I just grab the first thing I see and I'm like, that's good, and then I take it and leave. Yeah. Well, for me, I have like ver- like various things. So, um, depending on the store I go to, it depends on if that they have that specific item or not. Most stores have like the Ego twenty four pack waffle packs, so I'll get those. Um, if I go to a store that has like the Tony's frozen pizzas, that's kind of my go to frozen pizza, so I'll get that. So I know what I'm going for. I know what I'm getting because I know the prices haven't changed in you know four mm-hmm. or five six years. So it's not like I'm going in and just not getting any single thing or whatever else. But it's just I don't know. It's just one of those things. Yeah. Um. I know you guys are Beagle fans, and I have been one because of my my family. My Uncle Patton, uh, my Aunt Rose has been uh, gone for a few years now, actually a number, over 10 years now, but they used to have, they, w- they would always get Beagles, and uh, this year was uh, funny that I found, I don't even know how I found it, I found this YouTube channel called Charlie the Beagle, and it's these two beagles with this little girl and it, I, I guess they're based over in ireland and it's basically the adventures of this these two dogs wow. and it's just it's so hilarious if, if people want to go check that out that's just so fun um you know there was one video of the dogs basically pulling the little girl in in like a, a cart type of thing you know <laughs> and it, it's just so so fun but mm. you know. I think, you know, what you were saying earlier, Mary, that we all need to kind of come together. That is true. The problem is, in America, we also have that mentality of me, 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 me. Oh, yeah. And we do. Yeah. I mean, that's... But I guess that's where my religion comes in. And, um, you know, as being a disciple of Jesus, we're supposed to try to reach out to others. And even in the Bible, it's just the minority is always God's people and the majority are... I, the others so did we do I, I know we didn't do a halloween specific episode this year steve but did we do did we record after my uh, night of the living sidewalk accident i don't remember if we did or not so if i've said this before folks this is new for mary this is not new for you listeners this year on halloween i went out and i was i was going to get some groceries well as i said it was, uh, you know, it's about a 10 block walk. Actually, more than that. It's about 15 block walk from my apartment to the actual grocery store. So I figured, oh, it's a nice, day. you know, you know, we were talking about the weather earlier about how it's 70. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was just a really nice afternoon. The sun wasn't too hot. So I'm like, all right, fine, cool. So I go, I go out there and I get just enough to where I can just put it in my backpack and not have to worry about you know, stealing a card from Kroger or, you know, whatever. And uh, I'd only had like 10 bucks left. And I'm like, well, I don't know if that's going to be enough for a cab. It's nice. I can just walk home. I get halfway home. I get four blocks from my apartment complex. And because of my cerebral palsy, sometimes my right foot basically gets a mind of its own. I was watching where I was going. It wasn't like I was staring off into space. All of a sudden, and I blame the city for this because no one had cleaned up the damn leaves from fall. Uh, you know, basically missed a step in the sidewalk, and I went sprawling on the sidewalk, and I basically hit my elbow. So my elbow ended up looking like a fractured upside down heart. So I can basically make the joke of, hey, I wear my heart on my elbow. Well, you know, I'm like, oh, crap, this really, really hurts. And I'm walking home and I'm just working through the pain and I'm like, "Eh, whatever. So as I'm walking, I am on one side of the street. There is a house on the opposite side of the street. And I see a woman coming out and going to her car that's on my side of the street. And I'm on the sidewalk and I'm nowhere. I'm not anywhere near this woman. I just kind of wait, you know, like I was five feet away or whatever. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, I just fell and basically hurt myself. And I showed her, you know, my 
my arm was bleeding. You know, and here in Kentucky, they're like, well, when I first moved here 20 years ago, oh, yeah, Louisville is the friendliest place you'll ever see. Where the South, where this, where that. I said, could you take me to my apartment, which is four blocks up the street, so I can get this taken care of? I just moved here. I don't really know anybody. You could be a, you know, a stalker, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, thank you. No problem. So I just keep walking with the pain and everything else. So I turn away from her and my right side is, is facing her. So I'm walking straight and my right side's facing her. On my right side is where my disability is. She sees this and says, oh, you're handicapped. Sure, I'll take you. No, ma'am. No, thank you. Thank you. For, oh, no, come on. Let, no, no, no ma'am. I, I don't need your charity. Thank you very much. If you can't help a guy who's bleeding, what makes you really want to help a guy that's handicapped? Come on. <laughs> you know, and it's like, what the hell is wrong with people? It's just... Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah. And and I make the... Uh, other than, uh, you know... When I had the scar still, because it's healed at this point. When I, you know, other than the heart is on my elbow joke. The way I call Halloween 2016 is the night of the living sidewalk incident, because the sidewalk jumped up and bit me, just like that bullet did to Forrest. So yeah, Mary's face. (laughs) She doesn't understand the puns that come with the show. There's very few references he makes that I don't know about, yeah. but there's the occasional one where I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. He's like, come on. <sighs> she doesn't remember movies like we do, though. Yeah, that's true. And it's, it's because I remember life. real life important things and I don't really watch <laughs> movies anymore. Real so. life is overrated. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, boy. So, um, anything else we want to say before we probably wrap this up, folks? Um, not sure. Not uh, maybe you should pimp out the... Uh, Top uh, 100? Uh, we don't care about that. No, um, <laughs> okay. I'm just playing. Um, 25 days of Christmas? Yeah, I was going to say that. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, oh boy, another long story. Here we go. <clears throat> Back in 2009, when the network first started and when we started our cartoon podcast, Tooncast Classic, we had done a holiday show for episode 30 where a bunch of us talked about various Christmas cartoons Rudolph, Frosty, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, The Grinch, and a few other things. Well, the audio from that is not exactly stellar at all. And we were still, we were, we were less than a year into the network at that point. So, about five years ago at this point, and actually Tooncast Beyond, which is the sequel to Tooncast Classic, is, uh, is actually five years old this year. I completely missed that anniversary. Um, but uh, back in 2011, when I first started Tooncast Beyond, I'm like, okay, well, let's do this Christmas thing. So, I've been sitting on this for five years, folks. I went on Wikipedia one day, and I found every single Christmas cartoon that was released here in the U.S. that I could find. Uh, Whether it's from a television show, whether it's from the classic specials that we know, like Charlie Brown Christmas and all that stuff. So finally, we're getting to the first annual 25 Days of Tooncast Beyond Christmas. We've got daily runnings of episodes, uh, starting with uh, Steve and I talking about the first two days are The Year Without a Santa Claus and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And then in between there, it's a bunch of various other Christmas cartoons. And then from day 20 to 25 will be the classics. Uh, So that's coming up on December 1st. Um, So happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and uh, Merry Christmas, even though it's not even Thanksgiving when we're recording this yet. So you're guilty of what you were saying on the radio. (laughs) You know, you know, you know that guy, Steve, in that one movie called Happy Gilmore? Uh-huh. That's what I want to say right now, but I'm not going to. Jackass! Anyway, he <laughs> he, he missed that one. No, I, I know the reference. You, you know! I know the reference. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, 
So that's that's coming up in December. Like I said, I'm going on vacation. I'm going out to see my fiance Jen in California for Christmas. So I'll be out there for a while. Uh, so basically, everything that you guys are going to hear from me on the network will have already been pre-produced, which is I'm just loving that pre-production is awesome because we'll, you don't we'll have, have to... Robo Mike. Uh huh. He'll be absent. You know what you need to do now that you mention that? Make an image of the two of us as Rock'em Sock'em robots for Christmas. <laughs> Wouldn't be that hard. I know, right? Got, got the graphics from Neil still. So. I know, yeah. That'd be awesome. It would just take a while to have it animated. Yeah. Clock. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna knock your block off. <laughs> that's a commercial i remember oh boy that's uh, old so am i so i know <clears throat> right, you need to wrap this up <laughs> all right so uh any anything else anybody wants to bring up before we go no mary's just like you guys are weird yeah well we've been hanging just... out too long together that's the problem uh <laughs> So. I'm still not tired. The other, <laughs> the other. Okay, the, the other thing I want to bring up is is next week. Um, we're gonna be recording Altered Geek a little bit late next week uh, because next week, uh, and I know Mary doesn't really care about this anymore, but that's that's okay. Uh, November twenty eighth to December first, the first. Four in a row, Arrow vs. Crossover, Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, and Legends is happening. So in order for Steve and I to uh, basically talk about all four <laughs> parts of this thing, we can't record Thursday night, So, or Wednesday night, obviously, because then we would have, wouldn't have been able to watch the other show. So we're actually going to record Altered Geek 167 on Monday, December 5th, the week, the week of my going to vacation. So... We're going to have a review in episode 167 of the first uh, four in a row crossover from, from from the DC TV stuff. So that's coming up too. Which will be fun. Yep. But. Alrighty. So until next time, get altered geek geeky with the altered geeks. Stop doing that. Gobble gobble. <laughs>